Congratulations, Paul. What a win that was. I think that's got to be the best turnaround in football that I've seen in a long, long time. What's your take on today's events? I'm still quite drained by it all, James, to be perfectly honest. It was a, a, a real tough game. Albion sports were played really well. I thought it was going to be one of those like last year when they beat us 1 0. We huffed and puffed, but without really breaking the door down. And they played really well without threatening as much. I don't think they threatened us a great deal. Um, and obviously when Morgs has got sent off, you go down to 10 men. It, you think it's going to be a, a tough last 20 minutes and Peter goes in goal. He wasn't quite ready to go on, obviously, because as a, as a sub-goalkeeper, you never prepare, prepare yourself properly and he was a bit annoyed that he hasn't prepared himself properly but he's gone on and he's done okay but then they've scored straight away and you think well same as last year we're going to lose the game 1-0 mm. changed a couple of things but then you know John O'Green he just seemed to come into life at last 10 minutes it was it was unbelievable you know I went 3-3-3 to try and get back in the game and Within a few minutes, Jono's burst down that right wing and he did show Pace a turn. They're all taking the mickey save. Pace, he was that quick and I went, well, he looked quick to me, but I'm quite slow anyway. So, uh, good bit of skill, definite penalty. Um, and then Liam Ormsby, he's, he's had a bit of a traumatic week and to step up against his old team and smash it away like that. And I never looked, I never looked because I don't like watching penalties. So I just could hear the cheer from everybody. The fans were outstanding again behind the goal. They actually helped suck that ball in, I think. So when you go, when you go to one all, you think, I went back to a four at the back just to, I thought, well, I don't want to lose the game now. But then all of a sudden, again, John has taken, taken the game by the scruff of the neck and went on another good run, got brought down again. And, well, Josh, his brother, stuck a great... I think he took a lot of time thinking, I've got to get this quality right on the on the delivery. Fell to Wacker, it slipped away from him, but he's got the next touch and lads brought him down. Another definite penalty. And I thought Callum might have stepped up to smash the winner in. Uh, but obviously Liam said, no, I want it. I, he definitely wanted it and great credit to him. Um, stuck it away and obviously 92nd, 93rd minute, it's, you know, it's just made everybody's day, every Tadcaster fan's day anyway. Another big crowd, nearly 400 people there. So I don't think they were happy, but there were two penalties. You know, you can't get away from both of them. There were, there were trips, so... Yeah, they uh, they felt they had a, claim, a penalty claim in the first half. What's your view on that? Yeah, it was, it was difficult to see from where we were because the lad himself didn't complain much. So I thought he's gone over, maybe gone over a little bit easy, but there was a few others complaining, I think... Danny Facey was complaining a little bit uh, as we were coming out in the second half. But it's one of them, he's run alongside him and he just got, went down. I don't know, It's you, you get some and you don't get some. So We lost Tom Class early on, I was Tom. Yeah, he's, he was in a bit of pain at half-time. Lucy was doing some work on his knee and he was struggling. I hadn't spoken to him tonight, but he, he looked in a bit of pain because it, it, it disrupted the game really for us. Mm. And obviously, Captain Nick Thompson's come back in, not expecting to get on that early. He was been out for a couple of weeks, but to be fair, he's got on with it, and he's he looked a bit unfit to be to be fair. But he's he's done his normal thing and, and led by example, and and helped us win the game. So I chuffed a bits for Tomo to get on so early and make a big difference. Got a standing skipper today, and um, vice captain Andy Mill. How do you think Andy did today? I thought it was it was absolutely outstanding. Him and him and Sparks did really well, but I thought he, he was outstanding. He was probably one of our, well, apart from John, he was probably our defensive man of the match today. Yeah, he was super, wasn't he? Um, Liam Holmes, we have, he got the um, the sponsors man of the match today. Where and Kay, they brought, I think it was 35 people down today, which is tremendous. Liam got the man of the match. Who was your overall man of the match? Well, I think Liam, for I thought he started very poorly. Uh, it looked a bit nervous and he gave it away a few times early early on in the game. But he grew into the game and I think he just got more and more confident as the game went on. And he ended up, as I say, taking the two penalties, which was unbelievable bottle. And I would have given it to probably Milne because I just thought he marshalled the back four really well. OK, talk us through uh, the sending off. Morgs is, uh, is adamant he didn't touch the uh, their forward. Well, he's, yeah, he said that to me, can we appeal, can we do this, can we do the other? But I said, there's no appeal situation now, so you've just got to get on with it and, and take your ban. Uh, I was a bit 
unclear. I thought we had two defenders. I thought it was a poor decision from Moggs to come charging out of that far because he was a long way out. And I, but I thought Sparks and Milne, by the time mm. Moggs brought him down, were both back in defensive positions behind the ball. So. He was going away from goal as it well. Was, so, to me, it's not a sending off. It's a foul and it's a booking um, because he was going away from goal and there was two defenders behind him when he did it. So after the 7-0 and the 10-0, we've, uh, we've shown some different characteristics today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've had an interesting week. Uh, I must admit, I was more involved in the game today, which is nice because when you're winning seven nil and ten nil, you don't see as a manager you don't get involved that much. You just let them get on and and play, express themselves, which they've done brilliantly all week. But today, I felt like I could get involved a little bit more because it needed a bit of help from the sideline. So, yeah, pleased to play a little part today. But the players were absolutely outstanding. You mentioned the crowd today. I think it was about four hundred in today, which is excellent. What part are they playing this season? It's massive. I think it just gives the players a great lift, especially when you're struggling. And you know, at times we did struggle. We didn't play our best today, but we we stuck in there, and we, you know, we didn't want to lose the game. And to come back and show that that character just shows what you've got in that dressing room. And I think you know that's that's going to carry us a long way forward this season. And back to the Vars then next week. What yeah. About Martha? Well, PJ has gone up there today and watched the game. Paul James, so he's give me a little ring. And said they've the the decent team. He watched them win at Billingham Synthonia and he's gonna come into eye to eye on Monday to give us a full report on what he's seen. So that was good at PJ today to do that and it's gonna be a tough game like every Northern League game is, but we'll have to play better than we did today if we're gonna beat Morpeth. Are you looking forward to a break from the league or would you rather have a league game? No, don't bother me what happens, you know, you just take every game and you deal with it accordingly and, and pick a team accordingly. So we've got a great squad of players and I can move them in and out and there should be no no, no problems whichever team I pick. Great. How was your heart rate tonight? It was quite high. I had to shoot straight off and do a job after the game, which I was quite pleased about because I think I just needed to get away and calm down for 30 minutes. So, yeah. I'm getting ready to go to work now, so I'll go and do another six hours, James. Mm. Saturdays never end for me. Congratulations, Paul. Another great day for Tadcaster Albion. Well done. Thanks very much, Matt. Cheers. Hey. Hey. <laughs>